my name's Linda. I blog at craftaholicsanonymous.net and I'm going to give you a tour of my craft room today. I just gave it a makeover so I wanted to give it a little tour. Um, here I have my fabric wall. I have a curtain rod with the loops that have the little clips at the bottom to store the fabric. Just hang it on it. I have plenty of room to add lots more fabric to it. And then I have a snap box basket there. I have a bookshelf that we turned on its side. Um, cut some different cuttings before it and painted it white. It holds um, smaller pieces of fabric for me. And then over here, I have the craft box by the original scrap box. This is a great little storage unit. It has a pull out table. Um, and then it's got a hole it's in the back so that you can run your wires down for electronics and different crafting tools. Um, Back here in the corner, I have um, my ironing board. You probably can't see that, but it's back there. I have my iron here, and then some ribbon hung on the pegboard, and then on here is chipboard. It's got my loose ribbon wrapped around it and tied with the or with the secured with a pin. Um, and here I have the work box by the original scrap box. This is a double wide unit that opens up like that. It's got different sizes of bins and cubbies, just a lot more storage, really large. We've got different bins that you can put things in. This also has a whole lot little table. I know I always need more workspace, so any extra surface area is always appreciated. I keep my Cameo in it. We've got my different vinyl and different supplies for my silhouette over here, along with lots of card making and crafting supplies. And over here in the corner, I have um, just this crib spring that I took and spray painted. I use clothespins to hang inspiration pictures and photos. <coughs> Sorry, I have a little cold. Um, then I have a $3 thrifted chair. I spray painted it blue, gave it a little distressing, and then added some vinyl lettering to give it some character. I use this little table to cut my fabric. Um, I have a little vintage Pyrex dish that holds scraps and salvage pieces, so I can use those for different fun projects. Um, then you can see my stenciled wall that is um, bare, graceful gray. Um, it's a very fun stencil. My husband so lovingly stenciled for me. Then over here, I have the sewing box by the original scrap box. It folds out. Uh, it's got this little um, I have both my sewing machines in there. It has I put my um, thread rack on it, and then I got some storage there. So this is a great little table. This pulls out all the way so that you can sew on it. Um, right here, I have the Easy View craft desk. I got the extra drawer, so it's a little bit higher. Um, this desk is really nice because you can see through the top, see what's in the desk so that you can see it before you grab it. Very handy little desk. And then I have my upholstered bar stools. I just put some foam on the top and then stapled on some fabric. I have a tutorial for this on my blog. Um, I did those, that was really easy. And then up here I have a yellow chandelier. I got the chandelier for a couple dollars at the ReStore from, um, by Habitat for Humanity. Just spray painted it, um, hooked it up, and it works awesome. Fun little chandelier. And then over here, I have my unorganized uh, closet. Need to work on that still, but that is my closet space. Um, yeah, this is my craft room. <laughs> I hope you like the tour. Stop by craftalotsanonymous.net and say hi.